Mom had me at 15, so the option having a child at 15 at that point was to go on welfare or to hustle. Mm. And she chose that lifestyle and to provide The hustling lifestyle. Mm -hmm. She chose that to provide for me, and it, it made me feel like I was prioritized because every time I seen her, it felt like Christmas. Really? And then when she, when I lost her, my grandmother tell me, you know, sat me down and explained to me, you know, your mother, she's not coming back. Mm -hmm. She's in a better place. And for a while, I would still be like, you know, like while I'm outside playing, I'd be like, yeah, when my mother come, we're going to do, because it, it didn't register. How old were you when she, you were eight? I was eight, yeah. yeah eight. It didn't register to me that she was saying that she would never come back. Come back. It would be years before Curtis would learn the truth behind his mother's death. The family believes she was drugged and left to die in her apartment, where the gas had intentionally been left on. Curtis says he found refuge in his grandparents' basement. This, this would kind of got me away from them upstairs. The basement, you know, like, even though it was big or small, it was bad to... I, don't know, I was really running away from having to deal with people. I didn't communicate well with the loss of my mom. I actually never really spoke to anybody about it. She was everything. Like, she was like my mother, my father, everything. Like, and then when like my grandparents always took care of me. You know, like my grandmother, she she uh, she did she did everything she could do for me. 